are going to talk a little bit about today about smoke mods and about that pivoting third person view that everybody's been asking me about. So a lot of people have been asking me about how to get that view in third person with the pivoting camera, just kind of like a Forza thing because if you all know the Assetto Corsa uh, chase cam is very very static and it's kind of annoying. So we're going to go into content manager and we're actually going to take a look at settings and stuff like that my wheel settings and everything on those lines as well so let's get dive right into it. make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which found in the description box below make sure you tap that like button and do subscribe if you're not a subscriber hit that bell notification as well so you can get all the videos and be part of the notification gang i would appreciate all the support so you can see there's a new car in the evil rabbit mix got a bunch of evil rabbit cars that i'm designing and building and modifying original cars and putting different like steering wheels and stuff in there so we'll take a quick look at the mustang as you can see got my own little uh evil rabbit energy steering wheel in there so, all right so settings for a set of corsa and my wheel settings we're going to talk a little bit about my wheel settings and why i use them so for force feedback settings in the set of corsa on my fan attack rig because the fan attack had so much actual uh, force feedback we're actually down on gains we're actually down at about 60 percent gain on our force feedback we have our filters and all that turned off we actually have all of our effects turned off so very different from a lot like a logistic g920 because the fanatec has settings like this in the actual wheelbase itself so they're turned off settings turned off this is up at 10 but otherwise everything's turned off because my fanatec actually works well with it now for a g920 i'm going to be doing some g920 video here soon I'm going to be getting the g920 back on the rig but i'll be using like the fan tech pedals and stuff like that you're going to definitely want to have some road effect and some flip uh slip effect and some curb effects which i will get into once i pull the g920 back out so let's talk about the shader pack if you guys do not have the custom shader pack it is the thing in content manager all you gotta do is download custom shader pack install all the ports and then I'm using the 0 0.1.36 uh, which is the newest released one has this uh, you can see smoke and um, spark effects and new smoke mod smoke look follows the wind you know stuff like that so this is how I get that custom smoke and that's down here in particle effects all you do is activate new smoke mod. You can adjust everything you want. I have it all basically how it was set. And it looks pretty pretty good. It gets uh, v pretty hairy. Messes with your FPS if you don't have a very good computer. If you noticed, uh, 184 was the last time I was running with a smoke mod with a couple cars. Now, 184 FPS is actually really good. But um, if I'm not using the smoke mod, I turn the smoke mod off. And it's basically the standard of settle. I'm over... 200 250 275 sometimes maybe three depending on where and what track or how many cars so for that chase cam what you're going to want to do is you want to go here to chase camera in the shader pack it gets installed when you install the actual custom shader pack and install all the pats uh patches there'll be stuff down here that says install 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 so you're going to want to do that and then you go down to chase cam so you keep it on basic and you actually activate it and then you can disable looking with joystick if you want or you can have joystick with an xbox joystick if you're using like a controller instead of a wheel but if you're using wheel you don't really have buttons to look around but you don't need to so you activate the chase camera here and then you go into a set of corsa and then you would just go is it in you would go into the set of Corsa and you go into chase cam. So you have first camera and you have second camera. So what you want to do is set your distance. I have my distance all the way out to give it that look. And then you can adjust your height and your pitch and stuff like that for the second camera. You can also do it for the first camera too. So I'm very curious on what the first camera is going to look like if I did it. Pretty much kind of a hood view. So kind of a roof view, kind of set back a little bit on the roof. So we're going to try and set that for the first camera, see what the first camera looks like with this um, adjustment too. So that's all you need to set up to have the custom uh, third person view, the pivoting third person view that you see me using a lot. So uh, settings, that's even worse.
see what that looks like. Sure. So now we do have the wheel on and we can actually see everything. That's even worse. So the way I had it was way better. I don't know how I can get back to that, so I don't I'm gonna have to start screwing around again. Height, pitch, distance. Hmm, sure, we'll try that. We will try that one and see where that one sits. All right, that one's better. So it's kind of a roof view, actually. And I kind of like this view. It's got a little pivot to it. So it's almost like having real head motion turned on without actually having real head motion turned on. So let's test this out. actually having real head motion in. So we're gonna run it in the other view. There we go. Enjoy the beautiful Mustang. Kind of a little stay in that outer zone. Oh, don't go overcook it, we're good. Kind of just backed it in. Kind of threw the clutch in there to hold that out. All right. That was pretty good. So we're going to go test these views in another track here. We're going to go test it at one of my tracks that I haven't driven in a very long time. And that would be... We're going to drive. We're going to switch it up. Where are you? Let's see. Nope. Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. We're going to go test it at Long Beach. So we're going to get the Mustang out. And we're going to head into Long Beach to test these two views out. So the setting views that I've set up work very well. They look good. And uh, I'm actually enjoying that hood view. So we're going to drive in this view first. The Mustang with the smoke. We're gonna jump, we're gonna spark. There it is. Oh my gosh, all those sparks. Sparks on the wall, there we go too. Just showing you guys the showing you guys what it looks like. Alright, so Long Beach. Definitely a fun track. One of my favorite tracks to run. Haven't run it much here in a set of Corsa, so we're going to be running it more. Now we're just gonna go. in. Oh, I kind of had a clutch in there so I didn't totally rip that wall. There we go. That wasn't a bad run at all, actually. It was a pretty nice run, actually, if I do say so myself. Oh. back to the start line and we're going to switch up views to the other view and see what the other view looks like. Kind of the hood view. Oh, just a, just a grace. It's reminiscing back to the Forza Motorsport 7 days of ripping Long Beach circuit. So these settings look pretty good for a hood, uh, like a roof view. I kind of like it. And it will be this way for all the cars actually. Not just the Mustangs, actually preset view, so you'll still have your interior view. Not 
sure how close it was to that wall. Definitely gonna have to watch the replay. There we go. Oh, I was definitely close to that wall. So let's take a look at those replays real quick and see where we kind of sat at here at Long Beach. And uh, also take a look at that glorious smoke. So this entry was not that great. Kind of overshot it, had to stutter step and clutch in. But we were able to make it look decent, almost taking out that wall. And good on there. So th that was a very solid run. I, other than the uh, having to clutch in a little bit, a little bit way off that clip. Smoke just billowing out of the back of this car. It's a smoke machine for sure. Then our second run, I wasn't sure where we are. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of which are in the description box below. A little bit weird initiation, a close to the wall. Ooh, we got really close to that wall. Get off that wall, we're still pretty close. We were up there though. This Mustang quickly becoming my favorite, favorite competition style car. Could be working it, possibly making a VDC car, and then we biffed it into the wall. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I hope this guys helps everybody who wants to get the smoke mods and some different chase cameras because I know a lot of people want to have that roof camera and still have their cockpit cam. And moving the cockpit is very annoying to actually get up into a hood view. So with that being said, we're going to exit this out. We're going to go take a look at the settings. And so for that first camera view, we want distance at zero, height at 1.49, and pitch at negative 11 degrees, 11.1 degrees. So I said it would work on all cars, so let's just pop into the 14 and see exactly how it looks on the 14 because maybe the different wheelbases, but like I said, it's an extra camera. So you still have your cockpit view. Yep, see, it's still a roof view. So we still have our in-car, our in-car view, which everybody likes and doesn't want to get rid of, especially if you have head motion. But some people also like to have that roof view. So we're gonna go back to the roof view. We're gonna get the S14. Oh, I'm on 225s. Oh, this is bad. I realized I am on 225s. This is not gonna handle well at all. So, uh, we'll see. Oh, boy. We're going to just send it once to end this episode off. So slippery. I'm just going to Yep, no, too slippery on 225s. Ooh, we almost just Ryan turked it. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. That's going to do it for this episode. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.